Trust me, I, I don't want to feel no more hey guys, welcome back to my channel So, it's been a while I should probably thought it gum out I'm sorry Are you serious? So I asked you guys on Twitter and I asked you guys what kind of video you guys wanted me to film coming back into the YouTube world. I'm really, really gonna try to film consistently now just because I have a lot more free time. Um, and yep. Yeah. You're welcome. My channel is not just astrology, activities, as well as knowledge, advice, anything that gets my mind moving will be up on this channel. Also a psychology major, so I'm a little bit philosophical, you know what I'm saying? Bask you in that. So I'm talking about moon signs, I'm talking about emotions, I'm talking about how you feel, how you react to things related to feelings and emotions. And um, you start to become more aware everyone has a moon sign from Aries all the way to Pisces. Your moon sign is much more like tricky. Emotions are tricky. You know what I'm saying? We're all included. Some people are very cold and some people are very logical with their feelings. Energy, gut intuition, vibes, you name it. As human beings are very complex creatures. We all know this. And to figure yourself out the best way that you can, you tap into what? into your emotions. Before you watch this video, you might want to calculate it. Go in the description box, calculate what your moon sign is, and then come back to this video, and then you'll know what's up. <laughs> Sound fair? Astrology is supposed to be fun, so let's hop into it. I'm trying to shake off and bring some good energy. <laughs> so first off, we're gonna start with Aries moon. Typical. Aries is the first sign in the zodiac. They're like, I'm perfect. Accept it. Okay, so if you have an Aries moon, you automatically are very sure of yourself. You keep everything that is too much baggage in the corner. They don't want to deal with it until you have to deal with it. They take control of their emotions. They also lash out at themselves because of it. If someone has an Aries moon, they're just like so locked into how can I fix this? What can I do? I don't want to be like this. I don't want to sulk. I don't want to mourn. They just find ways to quickly move on from situations. They feel like emotions are baggage and that's what it is to them. They just don't want anything to do with it. Like, you ever hear the quote where some people are built by fire and some people are made from it or something like that. It goes for the Aries in general tend to give a lot of people advice. Generally, give the advice that they will take. It helps them cope. Never get bored. They always have something to say. They're gonna sit you down and tell you exactly what's on their mind. They're always gonna be doing what they need to do. I, I just admire people with fire sign, moon signs. It's really interesting. They're just like, now we're gonna be talking about Taurus. Oh, good old Taurus moon. I like to think of a moon in Taurus being just needing affection. Like, they want a lot of affection. They're very classy in the way that they speak, in the way that they approach things, especially when it comes to emotions. They can be very messy. So when your moon is in Taurus, you know how to calculate it well, you know how to present it well, and you know how to articulate yourself in a fashionable matter. Taurus moons are capable of bringing a round of people, having each person communicate, you know, their feelings. Uh, and so that person with the Taurus moon is able to decipher each person's problem and understand what they all need. The very needy sign in general, like they just not needy needy because they are fixed. So they can be very independent, but and stubborn. Same time, it's kind of difficult for them because they just want to, they just want to give and they want in return, giving you like parts of them and sharing emotional connection. And you're just like, not into it they're gonna get pissed. They can talk for hours and hours and hours just, just about 
you know, feelings. Just about grandma's cookies. Um, also, Taurus moons pick up energy pretty quickly. So if you're like dry or dull or aloof, they're gonna, you know, turn the other way and not want to deal with you. They just, they want someone who's open ears, open eyes, and is willing to listen to what they have to say. Feed the conversation with emotions, feelings, and tears. Lots of tears. It's cute. They're not like just, you know, what do, what do bulls eat? Grass? Well, I don't even know what bulls eat. What do bulls eat? They're not just like in the grasslands, nibbling on some wheats. They're eating the wheats. And sharing their cereal, too. Now we're going to be talking about Gemini moons. Someone with a Gemini moon is obviously flip-floppy. And... By flip-floppy, they're really, really active. So people with Gemini moons talk, talk, talk. Their minds go through like 60 scenarios in a minute. Put that mind and you put those emotions together and it creates just overwhelming anxiety. They need some sort of way to let it out, like outlet. They need to get rid of all that excess energy. They use their emotions in a way where their way to do it is be a mentor and they use that emotional baggage to help other people yes they blurt things out but they're a very communicative sign um, and if you're able to understand what you're feeling and also articulate it I mean that's like the greatest thing ever they learn lessons from their feelings now Cancer moon signs. Uh, you're dealing with a water sign here. You're dealing with someone who is ready to dive pretty deep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cancer moons, typical, they're very emotional, but they only use their emotions for good. So, purpose of just having a good cry. Who doesn't want a good cry? You want to, you want to let all that toxic energy out. They'll find any reason to cry. They really just need to know that they've changed someone's life. Pretty much do anything to make you feel at home. A lot of people with moons and cancer will be doing a lot of charity work. They're probably, you know, really into like psychology, almost in a way like psychic. They can automatically feel if you're off, um, if you're in a bad mood, you know, like some people will be like, oh, I'm fine after someone has asked them like how they're, how they're feeling. Person in a mood in cancer is like, fuck, no, you're not feeling good. Just tell me. And then they just creep in and somehow you're expressing your feelings too. Won't directly tell you that they're feeling so much. They kind of keep it to themselves and wait till they come home and, you know, go in their bed and sleep or cry. Next is moon signs and Leo. Now when you think of this sign, you think of something that's like bright, up in your face, probably a huge mane. And no, I'm just kidding. Leo moons really like compliments. They find it exceptionally, exceptionally needed. If you give them a compliment before they give you a compliment. Be direct. Uh, they like being direct with people, just as a Leo would be, but they're very direct with themselves. And how Leo moons find a resolution for their feelings is by taking risks. They like to find ways to, you know, lighten their day, lighten their mood, lighten other people's mood. And again, it leads back to the compliment thing. They just, they like knowing that they're doing something right. How they're thinking and how they're feeling is almost like in sync which is why a lot of Leos are just like blunt and they'll just tell you straight away how they feel everything is revolved around how they feel um, and they're not sorry about it now moon signs in Virgo I love talking about this one I love it 
because it's just like they're just so edgy drive themselves crazy virgos in general drive themselves crazy you know in spongebob that episode where he has like file cabinets in his brain so put the baggage in file cabinets <laughs> It, just, it makes me laugh because it's so true. Let's say they're feeling a certain emotion, they go back into their brain, and then they just like go into the file cabinet, pull it out through it, they're going through it, they're organizing it as they're feeling it, and they're just going nuts because they can't find it because they're organizing it at the same time while they're trying to find it. Who does that? A Virgo moon. If you have a Virgo moon, you're gonna be really self-critical, but it's so particular. They absorb everything and they hold on to it and it's like they're just drowning in their own. <laughs> That's so much baggage for them but they won't let go of that baggage until it's like figured out, until it's organized, until the chaos is put to rest. The Virgo moon is not sleeping until they fix the problem, until they feel better about themselves and in that process, yes, they drive themselves absolutely ballistic, but the end result is just, it's excellent. It's absolutely wonderful. Moon in Libra. Okay, okay, okay. Balance. That's all you want in emotions. You want to be able to balance your emotions. Or else you're going to go crazy. And what the Libra moon sign does Closer. Closer. They don't give a fuck. They don't have baggage. They don't want baggage. They're a balance. Like, they can only hold so much on each side. And they don't want to deal with emotions. They are a solution master. Um, they won't deal with negative people. Negative energy. You're negative, they're walking the other way. They won't even come into contact with you. This phone is playing me. Zen all the time, and it's something to learn from. Just like, oh, something happened to me. Like, I feel like I should just accept it for what it is because I'm not that type of person. And then they'll just move on. If you open yourself up to them, they're gonna open themselves up to you. It's just like balance again. They just see, they just see beauty in like almost anything. Something that they should be furious about is like comedy. It's just primary for them to move on from things and to have a life full of energy and to meet new people and constantly fill that void with something that's fillable. I was not trying to do something with my hands at all. Oh. Mm. Mm. No. and Scorpio. Should we get into this? Okay, let's get into it. But beware. When I think of someone with a Scorpio moon, I think of secrets. I think of privacy. I think of basking. <laughs> Curious about everything. They're mostly, their emotions rely on their eyesight. Like whatever they see is what they feel. What the truth is, like actions. So that's how they feel. So let's say you're gonna go to uh, your friend's birthday party who has a Scorpio moon and you don't show up and they invited like 50 other people and you're thinking, oh, they invited like 50 other people. Like Scorpio moon's not gonna notice that I'm not there. Scorpio moon sees you. They see your soul. Process things slowly, feel very off. They're taking about two weeks, three weeks to really think about it. You know, they go through the whole blueprint. They're like, why am I feeling like this? What can I do? Who am I affecting? Who cares? Who doesn't care? So they're always mad at themselves. Like about the smallest shit all the way to like the highest shit. So zero to hundred like real quick is like Scorpio moons and just Scorpios in general. Okay. They won't allow you to dominate how they feel. Take great pride in hearing people out and 
they'll actually compare it or contrast it to their own feelings and they're like, oh, okay. Ooh, Moon and Sagittarius. Loves to bring people together. Loves helping people. Loves to talk about things related to, you know, connecting. But they're not there to solve your problems. The Sagittarius Moon is there to help you figure out who you are. They're just finding ways to fulfill their life and not think about what they should be thinking about. They have a lot of variety in their life. They have different types of people and they have a lot of connections. So they're never getting bored, that's for sure. You know, they're around a lot of other people and that causes for, you know, drama, that causes for a lot of jealousy and they deal with that as they keep going with their adventure. They just don't have time for bullshit. And they learn something from each adventure that they encounter. Moon and Capricorn. Um, they're so calm and collected. They have their shit together. Who doesn't want that, especially in a moon sign? They just feel like emotions are weak. They don't have time to sit and just like think about it. They don't have time for adventures. They don't have time to sit with people and explain how they're feeling or understand what they're feeling. They're just going to give you straight facts. They're pretty much in control of how they're feeling. They look at it as, hey, I'm feeling this certain way, but it doesn't do anything for me. Is there any way to go about it? No, I don't think so. And they kind of just dismiss it like it never even existed. It's not like they just put in put the baggage aside or they don't want to deal with the baggage or they're putting in file cabinets no they don't do any of that just non-existent it's in me this moon sign is not having it they don't want to see you break down they want to see you fall sometimes and get back up eight moon and aquarius uh this is one of my favorites too I'll tell you why is intellect it's logic. It's what is my purpose? They have a little bit of like quirkiness to them. So people with this moon sign tend to like watch people so much, like like the Scorpio. They're just watching you so much that they're so unaware of like how they should react to it because they're not in tune with their emotions. They're trying to listen to you and they're also trying to be logical with you. But at the same time, they come off just so, like, odd. They don't want to be too, you know, honest. And they don't want to be too emotional. So it's kind of just, like, back and forth, back and forth. They spend so much time, like, in their head that they don't really have to tell people, like, hey, this is what I'm feeling. Because they're already thinking about it 24-7. That they have trouble expressing their emotions. So... They'll help you with your emotions, they'll help you deal with your emotions, but when it comes to their own emotions, they've already solved it. People, especially in a moon sign with Aquarius, are trustworthy. Like, people just instantly gravitate towards them. This is, this is great because they can help a lot of people and then they can also help themselves by helping other people. So it's like almost a distraction for them. And lastly, we have Pisces moon sign. First thing you think of when you think of a Pisces is emotion. And hello, we're talking about moon signs. We're talking about emotions. You cannot lie to someone who has a Pisces in their moon sign. They can read you so well, just like the Aquarius, but they can also feel you so well. They live on the negative side of the spectrum. Like when I think about negative, I think about the dark side. Just, you know, they're sensitive. Uh, they're emotional. They know how emotions work. They come off like almost like bitchy or like shy, but ultimately they're just shy. They have really strong senses. A lot of people with Pisces Moon like to comfort people, you know, like with a back rub or like when they give people massages, like they can understand like where that person's like tense. They just make great masseuses. They live in this bubble. They don't they don't want to be judged. They don't want people to think they're like this weird little like uh, thing from another universe that can like read their thoughts or something like that. They just, they have this intuition that no one 
can battle with. Sometimes people can't understand their own emotions, so someone with a Pisces in their chart, or especially in their moon sign, that's a psychic. Like being accurate, especially, you know, figuring people out. I'm a Pisces moon, and I get told this all the time, so, like, I'm like this, like, witch. <laughs> And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was, you know, fun and something that you guys can learn from. I think it's really cool when you figure out pieces of pieces of your chart and um, it just makes you more aware, like a little bit more enlightened about like who you are as a person. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'm on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, you don't have to be like an Aquarius. You can be another sign. Like, come join me join our world. And with that, I hope you guys have a great day, night, wherever you are in the world, and uh, do something nice for somebody. Yeah. And don't forget to have your alone time because your energy is precious. And with that, I'm out. <laughs> I just want to put some baby lotion on me and go to sleep because I have a under. I sound like a dying seal. about to slap myself off camera. Chart. Stop. Should I bring her some lotion? She might be a little bit wrinkly. I'll bring it just in case. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> what? Do I look like a mermaid? Do it! <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed, mommy. Oh, fuck. Ooh, who calls the house phone? Looks like I'm a bed. I've never been this tired before. Actually, I have, but.